the right head uh, ready to reassemble. Um, I had previously labelled all my uh, uh, valves um, accordingly, so that's the right head, uh, right head, rear, right valve. So I'm just taking one by one, I'm going to clean all the carbon off the heads and then uh, check the tolerances. If everything's okay, lap them and put everything back together. Very much the springs as well. Everything should be good because the engine was in pretty good nick. I'll start off by uh, putting some tape. I'll put it on my cordless drill. And I've got a wire brush on the lathe. And I'm gonna clean off just uh, that carbonized area. checked the valve stems, I've checked the springs, everything looks to be quite good. The cuts in the valve seats look to be quite good too, so I'm just going to apply some uh, cover on and paste. going to lap them. better seal I'll do them all I'll keep them in order and then I'll wash uh, all the cover around them off so after lapping you can see what it does it just just cleans that seating surface on the uh, valve and on the seat uh, of any carbonized deposits and leaves it back to a metal nice and clean it just helps the seat okay I'm going to start reassembling we've got a new valve stem seal So this is the uh, front, that's the right one, that's this one here. So 
so I'm inserting the valve. Lubricate the valve stem. Give it a bit of oil. More compression tool. And you only compress them as much as you need, no more, so you don't over compress the spring. Just enough to put the little cotters in. cylinder laying on its back it certainly would be so let me do that yeah it kept popping out because it gravity wasn't helping so hopefully this will uh, make it a little bit easier it does. Now I can put the other one on top. Yep. Turn itself around. That's it. And now I can start to release the tension. There it is. And uh, the manual then says to just tap the stem lightly with a rubber mallet just to make sure the cotters are seated properly let's do the others and there they are um, the first one was very fiddly and it took me a while to figure out it was gravity that wasn't helping me the cotters kept falling out I've got to I had to figure that out first um, the second third and fourth one went in a lot easier so the sequence is um, Spring seat, stem seal, lubricate the valve stem and place it in from the back. The sp 
springs, there's two of them, with the compressed end, see that's different, the compressed end or the tighter end towards the head. Then the seat and then the little collets are going to go in there.